Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. For today's tutorial, I will show you how to personalize your own Christmas stocking with your Cricut or Silhouette. For this project, you'll just need some stockings and some iron-on or heat transfer vinyl. This is also called HTV for short. Let's get started in Design Space. Add a text box and put in the names you are doing. I'll just change the font. The one I'm using today is called Monica and you can download it from defont.com. Now I'll resize this to six and a half inches wide. This is almost ready to cut out, but there is a little problem that I need to fix first. Where the N and the I meet, the letters are not quite lined up. If this happens to you, you can just press ungroup, which will separate all the letters into their own text box. Now I can just move the N over, and once it looks good, I need to stick it all back together. To do this, highlight the whole name, then click Attach. Now this is ready to go to the next step. Click Make It. I will be cutting out on a 12 inch mat today. When you are using HTV, you always have to remember to click this little button here, Mirror, so you don't end up with a backwards final product. Unlike vinyl, you'll be flipping the whole thing over so you need to cut it out mirrored. This is ready, so now I can cut it out. For this project, I'll be using Cricut's Everyday Iron-On Vinyl in white. I'll just cut out a piece of HTV a bit larger than my design. If you haven't used HTV before, there are two different sides. The shiny side is the carrier sheet, kind of like transfer tape, and the more matte side is the actual vinyl. I'll put it down on a green mat and make sure that I have the shiny side down on the mat. I'll use my brayer to stick it down smoothly. Now I'll pop it into my Maker 3. You can use a Cricut or Silhouette for this step. Next, I can use my weeder tool to pull off the background. I'll just flip the mat over and peel the mat away from the HTV to get it off. This part is ready to go. Now let's get the stocking ready. Put down either a heat mat or a towel. I need to prep the stocking by going over it with a lint roller to remove any loose fibers. I also need to give the stocking a quick five second press with my heat press. Now I can place the design into position. That looks good. So now I can stick it on using my Easy Press 2. For 100% cotton, I need to set my press to 315 degrees for 30 seconds. If you aren't sure what setting you should be using for a specific material, just go onto the Cricut website and refer to their heat guide for recommendations. I just need to wait a minute and make sure it's cool to the touch. And then I can pull off the carrier sheet. This stocking is ready for Christmas. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.